a casserole of baked bubbling pasta. Who doesn't like that? And today, a very simple one. We'll make a very simple one. Onions, zucchini, tomatoes, rigatoni in the oven with lots of cheese. So let's begin. Uh, I have the pasta water boiling. Let's put the pasta in. Boiling water, no oil, salted, lightly salted, depends on how much, but it needs to be a little salted. Give it a mix and bring it back to boil as soon as possible. So we're on with the pasta. The pasta's on. Let's make the sauce. Olive oil. Onion. Season it with salt. Season it with peperoncino. Zucchini. Uh, nice zucchini. Uh, you know, it's all in the product. So a good, firm zucchini. Uh, not too wide, because if it's wide, you have seeds growing in the center, and I don't particularly like that. So small, this is a medium size, which is, which is great. Uh, zucchini is very easy to handle, and it's one of those vegetables that you have year-round. Um, so, you know, when in doubt, or when you say, oh, gee, I need a vegetable, well, most likely you will find a good zucchini in your, in your store, and you see? Uh, there's very little seeds, and that's what you want in a zucchini. Cut it in half, it's easier to handle. And then you just chop it again, a little wide, so it leaves a little texture when it's cooking. Okay. And let's put it right in. Here I have San Marzano plum tomatoes. You want, when you're, when you're making a sauce, let me get a nice, a nice one for you so you see. Okay, here we go. A plum tomato San Marzano. San Marzano is a place uh, in Campania, outside of Naples. It's in the hills. It's on volcanic soil, hence new soil, rich soil. And what's good about the San Marzano is that it has a thin skin. It has a lot of pulp, very few seeds. You want the pulp, you don't want too much juice, too much acidity, and you want little seeds because seeds are tannin, uh, and tannin makes the sauce bitter. So, let me crush this. Uh, I like doing this, I like touching my food. Uh, it gives me a sensibility of the texture, of what, how long I'm gonna cook it, and so on. Great thing for the kids to do, or for anybody that's intimidated in the kitchen. Pull them over and say, okay, put your hands in there, let's see what happens. Fun. Rough is fine. It'll cook some more. And you know, I don't uh, like to waste food if at all. You know, there's, there's sauce in here, you know? Recoup just with a little bit of water, pasta water. Shake it around like that. You collect everything. And let's put that in. Let's put this in. But I'll go back for some more water. They ask me all the time, what's your favorite tool in the kitchen? This is my favorite tool in the kitchen. I just love it. You know, it's kind of organic. It's, uh, it gets the job done. And I feel it's gentle, you know, steel on steel or, or uh, plastic. Uh, I'm always afraid they assure you 100% that it's not going to melt. But, you know, I don't know. So wood is great. This is going to bubble for about 12, 15 minutes, the pasta should be cooked by then. I think I need a little bit of salt for the tomato. Whenever you cover anything, it cooks quicker. That's all there is to it. And you save energy. Let's see, I think the pasta is, is ready. And it's, you know, a little extra al dente, which is perfectly fine because it's gonna continue to cook in the sauce. So we're gonna put it right in the sauce. Push it right out. Okay. And you know how I love that pasta water? This is your savior when you're cooking and uh, dressing pasta. 
a little bit of pasta water will go a long way. You don't need sauces, you don't need butter, you don't need any of that stuff. And if you're draining your pasta, make sure you save some. So let's go back to the, to the stove. To this, I'd like to add a little bit of olive oil for that last intense olive oil flavor. And it's not about cooking here, it's about kind of dressing the pasta evenly so that the flavor gets into the pasta. I think this is fine. Here I have a casserole. It's buttered, a little cheese on, on the bottom just to give it a little extra crunch that it just came to mind, you know. So be spontaneous in the kitchen. If you feel that that's what's gonna be good, you do it. I give you permission. All right, so let's slide it right in. Mm -mm. Temptation would be to spread it out. Well, don't do that. You like a little mound. It gives you more top space, more crunchiness. So, you know, let the pasta kind of stick out. And we'll put some topping of fontina cheese. And then, of course, some grated cheese. If you toss it with the grated cheese, it loosens up on you. And then you can just spread it all over this. You preheat an oven at 425 degrees and 20 minutes to 30 minutes, whenever it's nice and crunchy and you like it, it's ready to be served. Like that, right in the middle. So this way it gets heat from all over. I think pasta is special because it has this warm, loving sensation when you're eating it. It kind of caresses you, you know, caresses your palate. And then even as you ingest it, it's, it's a great feeling as it goes down and not difficult to digest, uh, uh, releases a lot of energy and it keeps you going. And in today's world, it's easy to make, quick to make and not expensive. Delicious. How can something so simple be so delicious and so beautiful? Well, it is. Well, delicious. And the smell? Mm. So I have some fresh basil. You can just toss it like this on top before bringing it to the, to the table itself. Just like that. And the heat will release the oils in the basil, and as you bring it to the table, you get this added aroma of fresh basil. The best time of cooking pasta is tasting pasta. So, let me taste. Mm. The pasta is al dente, just saucy enough, lots of cheese, fresh basil, doesn't get any better. I guess you'll have to make your own. 